here we are in front of two PECO projects that are identical, phase two and three of this Luxembourg project. Uh, this one was started last year in August and was occupied by June the following year. It has two levels of parking and five levels of residential for 55 units. The two levels of parking are done also with our system, with hologram slabs, composite beams, composite columns. And what we have behind us is the phase three that's under construction as we speak that will be delivered at some point next spring. A PECO frame consists of composite columns and composite beams. What this means is basically the composite column is a hollow section, a hollow steel section with reinforcement inside the column that is later filled with concrete. Same for the delta beam. Delta beam is also a composite beam, so it's a trapezoidal steel profile with reinforcement inside that's later on filled with concrete. And those two components support a long span decking system, such as hollow core slabs that we have here on this job site, or it could also be uh, a long span steel profile. Here we are next to a composite column uh, by PECO. So we have the HSS section that's empty at this point. It's only the, the steel tube uh, with the reinforcement inside. You can see the connection system is very simple on this column. At the bottom we have a base plate with four holes and basically the bolts are projecting through the beam and we just simply sit the column right on it. In this case, we're using a continuous beam system. This is basically to use the negative moment over the connection point, so to allow us to have a longer span with a shallower section. So we have a continuous beam here, and then we have a, a hinge connection, uh, which will then span from this point to the stair shaft. We have a delta beam edge beam that allows for a full view from floor to ceiling. So if you were to have a curtain wall that you want to have a full window from, from floor to ceiling, you can actually get this uh, with this edge beam that only projects down from about half an inch from the holocore slab. We are now under the floor that's just being erected. Um, and basically, as you can see, it's nice, open and clean. We just removed the shoring post. So once the floor is grouted, uh, you can essentially remove the shoring post immediately and have the other trays coming right in. So what we see here is actually the, uh, the lateral stability during construction sites. So we'll see that typically in the, in the corners uh, of the building. So in this case, we have push and pull jacks that uh, can operate in both directions. So we can actually push the column out, push it back in, move it to make sure it's, it's nice and plumb. A beam and column system allows for a lot of flexibility for the interior layout of the units. As we can see on the floor where the partition walls will be between units, there's a lot of angles, um, a lot of layouts are possible because you're not uh, only between two load-bearing walls. Anything is possible for the inside. A lot of people ask uh, questions about how we grout the holocore slabs, uh, how we grout delta beam. So one of the techniques that's been developed is using just a little bucket uh, where you're actually going to be pouring the concrete on top and basically pulling that bucket directly in the holocore uh, keyways. And then to take the, the concrete up uh, to this floor, you can also have all the, the pipes for the pump already pre-installed. So you just need to connect. You don't need to have a big concrete truck, a concrete pump truck coming to the job site. You can just connect here, fill your bucket at the same time as you're filling your, holo your delta beam and your composite columns. We're now on the top of a delta beam that's been concreted. As you can see, this top plate here, that's a steel top plate um, with the lifting hole that's completely full of concrete. So this entire beam is full of concrete. This is how we achieve the fire resistance of the beam. Uh, at the same time, um, you will see this holocore slab has an opening uh, for the two number five bars that are uh, passed right through the delta beam at every holocore slab. So here we have the composite column that's now been concreted and a delta beam that's also been concreted. Uh, at this point, we have now a fire-resistant composite column, uh, in this case, for two hours. And this beam has been tested by UL for one, two, three, and four hours without having to fireproof the underside of this beam. As you can see on this particular project, there's a couple of unique features or special features uh, that is very applicable to res residential construction. So we have balconies on my right here, 
uh, we see cantilever precast slabs that will be uh, hanging there. And there's actually a solution that uh, we have developed for cutting the thermal bridge between the balcony and actually the structure uh, by essentially having a separate slab in this case. Eliminating the thermal bridge in a balcony is a challenge in many construction systems. Um, because the slab is actually partially outside and partially inside. In this case, we completely insulated the slab, the solid slab that's going outside with urethane. Urethane was actually sprayed on on site under the, the solid slab that is cantilevering outside. And there's also uh, urethane sprayed between the solid slab and the first holocore slab. So we completely eliminate the thermal bridge. Now on the top side of the slab, what we have is the insulation from the styrofoam um, that serves to hold the uh, radiant heating system and then the radiant heating tubes that will provide the heat and comfort for the units.